think you're familiar with him? Peter McCaffrey. Uh, no, it, do it doesn't sound familiar. No? Let me fill you in. Um, so there's this overzealous cop. You know the type. She never knows when to give up. And she has her tech guy look into Peter McCaffrey's recent travel. Okay. Yeah, well, Mr. McCaffrey is a very private person. So he set up some unexpected digital tripwires. That's bad news for the tech guy and his boss. And so this cop, she keeps marching toward this kill zone. And unless she makes an about face, it is not going to end well. I don't get it. You served a full term in the Peace Corps. You worked for the EPA. You brought legal action against corrupt corporations. That's your point, Kate. What happened? You used to make a difference. Why did you sell out? Look, my client is forced to work for a man that he cannot fight and take my word for it. Neither can you. Let's help each other out here. We can bring down Loxat. I'm giving you a second chance to make a difference. Captain, just do yourself a favor, hmm? Heed my warning. No, you heed mine. You have until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Then what? I'll expose you. And then we'll both be looking over our shoulders, waiting for Loxat to tie up loose ends, because once they find out that your cover is blown and I'm on to you, then you're going to be as dead as I am. Seven minutes, Kate. Seven minutes. That's how long the brain continues to function after the body dies, and as all of those synapses slowly stop firing off, that's when they say that our lives flash before our eyes now. When your seven minutes come, I sincerely hope that you do not flash to this moment when you had a chance to live and you chose not to.